You've got Spinosaurus all wrong. Let me explain. First of all, that fight in Jurassic Park 3 would be impossible to replicate in real life and would have never happened for multiple reasons. First of all, T-Rex and Spinosaurus lived in completely different places in completely different times. The T-Rex lived about 65 million years ago in North America, while Spinosaurus lived in North Africa 100 million years ago. Adding to this, the fight would have had very different consequences. T-Rex would have won, not Spinosaurus. This would be because of T-Rex having smarter mind, better eyesight, better predatory instincts, and most of all, a much stronger jaw. Spinosaurus would have won in size. Spinosaurus was actually the biggest carnivorous animal to ever live on Earth. They were 5 meters in height, 15 meters long, and even 2 meters wide. So, in every dimension, X, Y, and Z, you are cooked, especially if you're a short king. A big part of their size actually comes from that ginormous sail on its back. But why do they have it? Well, because of regulating body temperature, or even storing food like water and limpets, a bit like camels. But there is no definitive answer. But something I can tell you definitively from the heart is that the Spinosaurus I've been showing in this video, and in most media, is false. When the first Spinosaurus skeleton was discovered back in 1912, in Egypt, the only thing we had then was the sail on its back, creating a new genus, Spinosauridae. So at first, it would just look like this, a type of T-Rex theropod with a sail on its back. But later, with more fossils being discovered, a lot more in the last 30 years specifically, we now know that Spinosaurus was more of an aquatic theropod. It hunted more marine animals like fish and was more adaptive for swimming, having a more crocodile-like snout, a much longer tail, and shown walking on all fours, more near rivers or actually swimming in, in rivers. What animal would you like me to talk about next? Leave in the comments below. Subscribe for a smarter generation. We need 1,000 subs by the end of this year. Please, if you don't subscribe, I'll be disappointed in you.